Reading this YouTube. Now, expropriation is not genocide. Many people are trying to equate the two, and they're trying to create this perception that if Africans reclaim land, that somehow there's going to be a slaughter of foreigners who are currently residing on the land. This could not be further from the truth. African people are reasonable people. African people are not inherently malicious. <clears throat> if anything, Africans will engage in a peaceful negotiation in the parliament that will arrive at a solution that is constitutional. I think there has to be a constitutional amendment in order to allow this to take place. But whether or not there's a constitutional amendment, the crux of the matter is that these people must be reasonable enough to recognize what took place in the history of South Africa for them to actually have a farming operation on this land. It's criminal and it is inconsiderate of any group of people to own 72% of the farmland in a country that is populated by millions of people who are landless, who have been dispossessed of their ancestral territory. And I see many people, they're trying to be um, using stipulations such as this land was not owned by every particular um, grouping in South Africa. They're trying to say that the Khoisan are the rightful owners and any other black person is um, somehow irrelevant to this cause. Well, if you look at the migration history of South Africa, according to anthropologist Sheikh Anta Diop, that's D I O P, according to Sheikh Anta Diop, he was actually depicting the earliest migrations of Africans beginning in South Africa and extending northwards towards North Africa and the area we know as the Middle East. And so basically, this land is the ancestral land of us all, of all Africans. That is one of the most important sites of archaeological discovery. And many tribes, many groups of people pass through this land. There's not one period of history that you can say um, represents the ownership of this land okay and so yes there may be a there may have been a, a people who occupied this land prior to apartheid but prior to them occupying the land there were other people who actually passed through the land and i think we need to consider that okay but um genocide is not a feature of the expropriation campaign the whole idea is for the people to be reasonable and to leave the land peacefully and if they want to they can leave the country you know but the point of the matter allow the people to leave peacefully and at some point when this when the smoke is cleared there will be african independence you know so we need to really consider looking into this matter um, carefully, productively, and democratically. Now, this is, this is in the instance that there is no um, vitriol from the other side. You know, we understand that these people have been militarizing themselves. Even in some of the videos I see on YouTube, some white South Africans are calling for a militarization or like a rebellious response to what has taken place. This is not advisable because I know our people will defend ourselves against whatever challenge comes our way. So you shouldn't really put yourself in a position to fight against black South Africans. You know, I would advise the white South Africans to refrain from fighting black South Africans because at the end of the day, you are a guest in that land who is unwanted by many so you should not put yourself in a position to create a violent struggle with those who dominate the society that is African land you can't squat on African land and then turn around and try to attack the people 
So this is my understanding of the situation thus far. And thus far they obtained no deaths, no violence related to the expropriation campaign. And so this needs to be dispelled. That is a myth. That is a malicious rumor, an outright lie, and deception. And you know, African people have not killed anyone for the expropriation fight. And the only thing that has happened is a dialogue in Parliament, a resolution has been passed, and a plan is being strategized to get this land taken away from these people who are illegitimate owners. And so until next time, I would just encourage you to just, um, just like, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get the notification. One love.